Hey everybody, it's your girl Dimples215. I'm a real upgrade. Keep it one thousand. She ain't fucking with my style. No, no. You need someone that you know ain't gon' tell. I scoop you up when she giving you hell. Look at me, baby. I, I, I know you see. Okay, so I finally looked at some of the topics you guys asked me to talk about. So, um, I picked one of the topics. Um, they basically asked me to explain um, what my relationship desires are. Basically, desires in a relationship that I like, that I like, love, whatever. <clears throat> and I've come to the conclusion that um, I am a hopeless romantic. Like, I probably said this in one of my previous videos last year. I'm a hopeless romantic, and um, I love love. I love seeing people in love. I love seeing people act upon love. I love seeing people act on love. I love seeing people so deep in love that they shut the whole world out. They block the negativity. Um, they block the he say and she say. They, they're just in their own little bubble of love and happiness. No matter what they may be going through, no matter how much they may be going through, you still see the love there no matter what. Um, I have yet to get that. Um, I have yet to actually feel that so deeply. And, um, yeah, I find myself lately sitting here daydreaming and um sitting here just wondering when is my turn um when is it my turn to have that romance to be romanced to have a romantic relationship uh and i've been really emotional because my period is coming i know that's tmi but so what but it's more heightened now and because I want it so bad that I feel like I'm just waiting and waiting and waiting and it's just not coming. Um, I want to have the flowers all the time. Not even all the time, but I want to have the intimate conversations, the intimate dinners. Um, when we, when we, when we go out in the hotel rooms, the intimate settings, um, just me and that other person, um, I want the candlelight dinners and the romantic gestures. And you know, you want that you want that kind of romance that you don't have to ask for. You want that kind of romance that somebody's just, you know what, I love her so much, I need to do this. I love her so much, I have to do this. Um not the kind of not that kind of where you have to ask and they they just basically tell you that they're not used to it and all this other stuff. Um, but that comes into play where people have, they have to know that they're ready for their relationship because a lot of women, a lot of us women are romantic and if they aren't, I mean, I don't, I can't speak for somebody who is it. I really can't, but I see the, I share a lot of that romantic stuff on Facebook. I might not post much. I might, I post early in the morning. That's about it. But, um, after that, I share a lot of romantic things, and I love to write. I write romantic things and everything, and all in all, I just want to be deeply in love with somebody whose love is the same as mine. I have deep, I have a deep desire for that, and um, sometimes I feel like I'm not going to get it. Sometimes I feel like it's never going to be, it's never going to amount the same as me. Or I'm never going to get the same what I put out back in. Not saying that other people that I was with um, was bad. But I just feel like our headspace was in two different mindsets. And um, I know how to give romance and the other person doesn't. Like that. You get it? It's like uh, they know how to do this, but then they don't know how to do this. I give this, but then they don't give this. And it's not we're not on the same page with certain things. I'm not saying that that causes for um, giving up or anything like that, but I always felt and I always believe you have to be on the same page no matter what it is, no matter how it is. Um, you know, you want that same 
You want that same love that you give out. You want that reciprocation. Not saying that you're requiring it, but you want that reciprocation of what you give out to ge to be given back to you. Um. Yeah, and I've been like this since I've known what love is, and I've been like this since I've had a little taste of it. But I. <sighs> Years and years has passed, and I'm still waiting for it. Um, sometimes I might think I find it. Sometimes I might think I have it. But then as time goes by, it's like it's not there. Um, I caught myself at the crowd the other night about it because I'm just like, I see some of my friends that's married and everything like that. And I see my a lot of my friends just like in these like relationships where it's just like you can see the love and romance and the in love in in them. You can see it. It's like their aura exerts. They're in love and everything like that. Not saying they don't have problems because every relationship have problems, but you can see all over it that all over them that they're in love. Like this one guy and um this. My, one of my one one of my friends from high school, uh, her name is Shatira. Her husband name is Will. You can see all of that over them. That the way they look at each other, the way they do things together, the way he takes care of her, like all of that. It's the, the the things that I want. It's just like people don't be ready for it, and it's like I gotta wait and I gotta wait and I gotta wait, and it's just like I might as well wait by myself. I don't know. I don't know. Um, I'm sorry, guys, but sometimes I'm, I just want to give up. Sometimes I'm going to give up. But I don't because I am so positive. And when I thought I had it before, it was just a lie. All of it was a lie. Um, not, not even, I, I want to say like two or three years ago, all of it was a lie. But, um, yeah, me, I have to be positive. I have to stay positive because a lot of people watch me and I give a lot of advice and no matter what it is, I always stay positive because you never know when you might meet somebody who's just not in that type of mood. And I have to, I have to be that light. I have to be that light to people. I can't let nobody see me sweat, but sometimes I get like this because I'm just like, I finally want love that I deserve. And that I've been waiting for. And it's just like, where are they at? Why am I getting why am I getting the end of the, the short end of the stick? When I know I'm a good person and I know what I give to people. I don't know. I don't know. But um yeah. So those are my relationship desires. My I have deep desires, guys. Um I don't mean to cry, but I am just like I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. But I'm not going to rush it. It's just so hard to see something that you want. And you don't envy it. You just want it. And you want to feel like that. You want to feel like the only woman in the world. You want to feel like a queen. You want to feel all of that. You want all the the romantic things and just somebody all about you and everything. Slow to anger. Quick to feel. And stuff like that. But anyway, I'm sorry for crying, guys. Uh, make sure you guys thumbs up this video. Comment, like, and subscribe down below. Hit the subscribe bell next to the subscribe button for more videos from me, Dimples215. And um, tell me your desires, relationship desires down below. Tell me how you feel. Tell me what you want or anything. Um, just explain anything you probably ever had that you won't give me. I don't know. It doesn't even matter. Just comment anything down below. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace out.